Hi, it's Steve here from Haightley Motorsport, and today we're giving the old race truck a head job. <laughs> The original plan here was to check out the condition of this uh, old 302 Cleveland out of the race truck and as you can see it's gone really really well because now we're in the process of a full rebuild. But what I'm doing here today, we're lapping some new valves into the heads because I pulled the springs and seals and stuff off from here the other day to send the heads away to get them decked and uh, well valves are fucked. So this is one of the old ones and you'll see it's got a Fair groove worn into it there and catch your finger on it. So it's no good. So we end up replacing them all. Now, while I was at the machine shop, I probably should have got them to do a proper valve job, but we've already gone over budget on this job by about six times. I thought you only spent 300 bucks. And the budget here is about zero. So get stuffed. How's that sound? And the seats and the heads looked okay ish, so we're going to try and get away with just doing a, a basic valve lap. So what we're actually doing to lap the valves is taking the valve and lapping it to the surface of the head here, which is the seat. So we can get a nice positive seal and keep all that horsepower making compression in the engine, in the cylinder. And not have it leak out into the exhaust and the inlet manifold. Which is bad when that happens. To do this, I'm going to take this valve grinding paste, which is basically just liquid sandpaper. And this one's from Performance Plus. I've used this stuff for a lot of years. Um, it works really, really well. It's got two parts, coarse and fine. I've already done the coarse one. Just got to do the final cut on the fine side. Now to do it, all I've got to do, remember where I was up to, all I've got to do is apply fine side, this goop to the valve seat. See it's all shiny there, all the grit in it. I've got a couple of drops of oil on the valve stem so we don't uh, wear the valve guide out. You don't want to get the, uh, the valve cut and paste in the uh, valve stem either because it'll wear your valve stem out and you don't want that. Reinsert the valve. Drill, call the drill, chuck on there, and all I'm going to do is spin it up and pull it into the back into the seat and get the lap into the seat. Now you can hear, you see me pulling it up there. You can, you can hear it change is when the uh, you can hear the noise change when the valve grinding stuff gets pushed out of the seat. So just lift it up a bit, let a bit more in, and pull it on again. Do that for a minute or so, 20 seconds, whatever it takes, you'll get the hang of it. And what we're looking for when we do this job, I'll clean that up, should nearly be done, these are pretty good anyway. We'll keep doing that until we get that nice grey, dull grey line in the valve seat. You want that about a, oh, I don't know, a mil or a mil and a half wide, that's pretty good. Um, and matching on the seat as well, you can see the seat's gone all dull grey, it's taken all the polish off it. All the shininess out of it, it's got a nice mating surface. And that's it! Once that's done, on all the valves, you want to give it a really, really good clean, make sure you get all that crap, that valve grinding paste out of the engine, out of the heads. Um, put your springs and seals and retainers and things back on. And they're good to go. Now I've done that, I've only got about actually not four, about 12 more valves to go. Then I've got to re-CC the heads, check out the volumes of the combustion chamber so I can work out my compression ratios after I've done all this. 
to make sure we're not going to melt any pistons or do anything silly and then we're going to make plenty of power but that might be another video so till then like the video subscribe to the channel if you've got any other questions about putting engines together you want to know about ask down the bottom and hopefully we can get this sucker fired up before the new race season starts till next time